Hello again. Today we're gonna replace the battery of this uh, Dell laptop. The model is uh, Dell Precision M3800. We're gonna replace the battery, we're gonna uh, clean the laptop, replace the thermal paste. So let's start. The first thing of course, we have to take out the screws on the back. The small ones should be the same size. Just let me find a, a proper bit for them. I think this one. Yeah. This is a T4. So we're going to remove them. There's also two here under the metal shield. I think they are uh, regular Phillips screws. Yeah. Uh, this one doesn't want to come off. Not a big deal. Now we have to lift the back cover. Like this. The battery the battery, is, the battery is in very bad condition and it was uh, making these marks probably it's a little bit swallowed so let's remove the screws on the battery I hope I got the right one Even if you don't replace the battery, disconnect it before doing anything on the board. Otherwise, you may damage something. Now, the fans are actually very clean. So basically, we can only remove the cooler, replace the thermal paste. Otherwise, you have to remove the two more screws, I think. This one here. No, just one here and one here and you can remove the, the the fans but those are actually like new so there's no dust or something we're gonna just remove the cooler now let's try and see will it work yeah like this now we're gonna use a dry q-tip to get the old paste Now there is a small paste here around the cups on the CPU, but my advice is uh, not to play much, uh, not to play too much with them. Otherwise, you may knock off something on the board and make a bigger problem. Just clean around. Mm. 
Now we have to clean the cooler using some alcohol. Let me clean it a little bit more. Also be careful not to bend the copper, otherwise you're gonna destroy the cooler. It won't work properly. Like this it's clean, it's like new. We're not gonna replace the thermal pads, they're in a very good condition. So we're just gonna add a, the new paste. Now let's put back the cooler. Move the cooler a little bit left to right in order for the paste to get even. And then just tie the screws. Don't tie them at once so you can have uh, even pressure. This one is broken. Like this. Tie the hinges, of course, because with the time they're getting loose, this can save you a lot of troubles in the future. Now let's see do I got the right battery. Yeah, I think it's the same. I'm going to put the model on the battery on the description, so let's Try and plug it. Now we have to bend the cable a little bit in order for the battery to go in place. It's still new, so let's put the screws. Now the only thing left to do is just put the back cover. Nothing too much complicated.
Now let's double check is everything closed properly. Yeah. Let's see is there any battery charge. Yeah, we have a picture. So basically that's the whole procedure. I hope you like the video. Bye bye for now.